we know that anytime we want, we can rearrange the furniture. We can move things around, make things bigger, come up here and uncheck things to get rid of things we don't really want to use, and just more or less play around. What we're creating is a subset of essentials, in a sense. We haven't saved it. So it will stay this way forever. Think workflow. When you're working on a particular project, there might be things you need and things you don't need, and then put them together in a certain way that facilitates your workflow. But we still only have a subset of essentials. I mean, we click on these. They're nice. We come back to this one. It's there for us. But if we ever reset essentials, what's going to happen is it's going to go back. And if we want to change it, we got to put it together again. We're going to make our own workspace. Most of you know how to do this. After I've rearranged the furniture, I can go up to the word window on the pull down menu and go down to workspace and say, I want a new workspace, Andy space. Now we have two options. You can save the window locations, which makes sense. You can also save a particular sort order for the windows if you want to do that too. We click save, and now we have our own space. So if we go back to essentials and say we come over here and say reset, we're back to our essentials workspace. If we go here, we've got it. Things like workspaces may seem trivial. They're not. They help with workflow and efficiency and help you get more done in the same amount of time. You're going to be more efficient. You're going to be happy. You're more happy. You're going to be more creative. So remember, you can do this. And incidentally, if we do say come back over here again, the only workspaces we can delete, if we go down here, are the ones we've made. These are there forever. Let me go ahead and cancel out of that because I like that. I might want to keep that. Let me show you one more thing. Let's go into Essentials and make just a couple of changes just so you can see the changes. So I put preview into content and I go to film strip and I move folders into preview and I go to metadata, same thing. I move something around so it's very obvious what I've done. You're working through different workspaces on a project and you're switching through the workspaces that you have changed for that project. Now you want everything to go back and be happy. So you click here, or the word window on the pull-down menu. And you don't say reset workspace because then you're going to have to do it three or four times. You say reset standard workspaces. Guess what? Everything goes back to the way it was. Now, it even changed the size right here, which is all right. I can click right here and bring that back. That's the standard workspace. So now we're back to what they were. We can start another project. Think through what you do. Decide if you need a different workspace. If you do, make it. 